There's a fish right there on the bottom. You know, I'm out in an area right now that is, I call it very much a basin area. There's a structure up here, and this fish is nearby that structure, but he's in the bottom edge of it. And this is a, a situation that happens across the Midwest on so many different bodies of water in the middle of summer. You know, middle of summer to the end of summer, these fish, they'll just leave those structures, and here's why. All of a sudden there's bait throughout the whole lake. The bait grows up a little bit, it has the opportunity to be everywhere, and those walleyes will just roam. So one of the things that you need to do is be aware that these fish aren't always gonna be on that classic structure, and you gotta go out in the basin area and sometimes find them. But that's where it gets a little bit complicated because here's the thing, for me to drive around at three miles an hour all day trying to find fish and then find them one at a time, is not gonna be real efficient. I mean, there's another one right there, but it's not like they're stacked up one after another. So I really need to be able to find fish faster. And I know most people think at this point, oh geez, you know, there's really not much you can do. Find a few of them, drop the lines down and go. One of the things I do is I try to find areas that have large concentrations of fish and you can do it. You can do it at higher speeds. So let me show you exactly how I set things up to run about 20 miles an hour and what a fish is on this screen. Because if you can cruise at 20 miles an hour, you cover an awful lot of water. And once you start identifying areas where there's a lot of fish, you can start dropping your lines down and catching them. And then you're moving a lot quicker. You're fishing efficiently. Let's do a little driving around and see if we can't find a couple. Now you can see that I'm cruising pretty good now. We're up to 18 miles an hour, and I'm just cruising around looking for fish. Now that right there's a fish, and so is that. Now you're starting to see them, and you can see them because this color line right here starts drawing it up. So I'm cruising 19 miles an hour, and I'm actually starting to see fish. And this area looks like it's got a pretty good group of fish, so one of the things I'll do right away is just drop a waypoint, because I wanna be able to go from waypoint to waypoint. But we'll keep looking around here. See, now there's a couple more there. But what you have to understand is a fish at high speed is gonna be nothing more than kind of a streak coming up, or if it's gonna be a tight, tight fish like we were seeing earlier when we were sitting almost still, it's gonna be just a little bump on that bottom. But you can actually cruise like we're doing right here. Keep your eye right there in that color line because when you see some colors start shooting up and then show up on the screen, you're gonna find that that's a fish. You can turn around, slow down, come back over them and fish them. There's a couple more that just showed up right there. So you can see even at 25 miles an hour, we're seeing fish out here. Now, if we go cruise an area and I go a quarter mile, a half mile without seeing any more fish, I'll turn around, come back through these fish and find them again. And then I'll go the other way or you know pick a different direction off them because there's gonna be more than just one fish there. They're scattered out, but they are together. I think I'm gonna turn this boat around. We're gonna go back through those fish over there. I got a feeling we're gonna be able to drop the lines on them and get them. Yeah, there's a couple of them right there. So they're gonna be piled up right in through here. Let me show you one more thing really quick. A lot of this is about having everything set right. So I'm gonna go into my menu screen and I'm gonna run that sensitivity up when I start, okay? Now you can see I've made it so the screen's a little bit cluttered and that's gonna make it a little bit harder to know exactly what's fish and what's not. So then I'll just bring that sensitivity down just a little bit. So here you can see I went up to 15, washed out the screen a little bit, come back down to 13, and all of a sudden I can see everything I need to see and I can know that that's a fish and there's a fish that just showed up right there. It's really a lot easier than you think. Don't be afraid to cruise around at higher speeds and find fish. This is not interference. Those are walleyes laying on the bottom and I wouldn't know they're there if I'm only going two, three miles an hour all day long.